sorry, the uh, rear wing here. You guys want me to put it up? There it is. Now this is going to deploy around 50 miles an hour. It's going to give you that necessary downforce to the rear wheels because this is a rear wheel drive supercar. Again, that uh, it's a mid-engine but rear wheel drive and that 552 horsepower at the wheels. You kind of got to have that downforce. It's definitely necessary. Now each vent on the LFA serves a purpose. You'll notice the ones on the shoulder lines here. Actually, the wind comes down through here. The mirrors help the process of uh, funneling the wind in through these shoulder lines where our rear mounted radiators are. So again, for that weight distribution, we actually have it perfect just like the engineers wanted, 5248 for the weight ratio of the LFA. And we did that by moving the radiators to the rear of the vehicle. So it's a dual mounted radiators on the, uh, in the rear of the LFA. Again, 65% constructed of carbon fiber, and at top speed we govern it at just 202 miles per hour. So, uh, with the 15.4 uh, inch carbon swing and brakes, 202 miles an hour, it's, there's a necessity. It's definitely necessary to have them. Now, underneath the vehicle, you'll notice just carbon fiber, and inside the door jams here again, there's 65% of it is carbon fiber, and the base price of the LFA, any guesses? Not nothing. $200, 375000 for base price. But you're not only just getting the world's first Lexus supercar, you're also getting an, an exotic car. Uh, this, again, only 500 built, 170 ish coming to the U.S. Um, and this is number 144 that we get to see here today at the North American International Auto Show. Now, up front, you'll see our LFLC. That's the only one in the world. It won the 2012 Eyes on Design uh, here at the North American International Auto Show. And that's a true concept for us. Um, one of the first for Lexus. So, you guys, feel free to take a peek at that, Kathleen. Can I tell you all about 1986 Chrysler GMC C.